My point about people just following a party line without actually considering what people are saying, they don't give a shit what is being talked about. They could say, now, sir, what would you rather have for dinner? Would you rather have veal parmesan or would you rather have a dog turd that's stuck to the sidewalk? And by the way, Donald Trump likes veal parmesan. I'm having the turd flip that baby over, spank it on my plate, and I'll gobble that bitch down. I ain't having no veal parmesan if that... Orange-faced, by the way, I just want to remind all whiteys out there that if you make fun of somebody's skin color, you are racist. That orange face, oopa looka, oopa looka looking, small hand having, again, don't want to make fun of the people that are a little bit handicapped, a little bit different from us all. Everybody, we accept, love Trump's hate, everybody is welcome over here. It doesn't matter who you are, we're a very welcoming community. Overweight looking, fat acceptance, ladies and gentlemen, fat acceptance. Got to love people of all shapes and sizes. Name change and have name change and ass Donald Trump looking motherfucker. I want people to have their real identities just like I'm sorry. I know you might have thought you were an Indian. That's okay. We all make mistakes and you can identify as whatever you want. But that drunk looking name changing orange hand having fat ass son of a bitch president having veal. Give me the dog turd. And speaking of Betsy DeVos, I am not a huge fan of the Department of the Education. I'm not a huge fan of the Department of Ed Education. And that's what brings us to this, this show. This show. Oh my god, what kind of show is it? It's a good show, that's what kind it is. So, party lines versus actual logic. Betsy DeVos had this way off the wall idea. Again, I'm not a fan of the Department of Education. I don't think it should even exist. I think it is a completely useless organization. I think teachers' organizations are making this fucking country stupider than hell. I, 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 it's just, nobody needs it. We don't need this government in the education system. It actually should be private. But she had this crazy idea. All this repeated, continuous cacophony of false rape allegations that are coming out of these colleges stirred something in her head. You know, maybe, maybe, just maybe, now hold on a second, just maybe, we might do something really off the wall. Now, just you follow me? Just one moment really off the wall. Maybe we should have the minimum tiniest bit of proof before we completely fucking utterly turn somebody's life upside down and destroy it. Because if you get charged with a rape allegation or it's just like in charge that you're a kid diddler, uh, why don't you have a seat right there? Right, right, right over there. Oh God, it's Chris Hansen. Boom! And then you blow your head off. I'm sorry, I stole this from Kavera. The um, suppressor fell off. Uh, yeah, I, she's sneaking around. It's very dark back here, and I don't want to get interrogated and give up my team's location, but we'll make a trade. Anywho, uh, yes, I'm Chris Hansen from Dateline NBC. I think one of the guys on that show did kill himself. So Betsy DeVos, she made this crazy comment that if there's a rape accusation in one of these colleges, college campuses, maybe... Maybe some proof might be required. I'm not saying that people would just make up sexual uh, molestation and rape accusations to try to get something out of it. Like the ones that they are currently doing for Donald Trump. Well, you don't know that they actually made it up. Mm, they probably did. Now, why would somebody joke about that? Why would somebody joke about rape, sir? That's not, that is not something that you joke about. Neither are dead babies, but how do you make a dead baby float? Two scoops of dead baby and one scoop of ice cream. That's fucking hilarious. Now... Donald Trump was at the center of one of these. Um, so was Bill Cosby. Again, could win either way. I don't care about your thoughts on what happened on the Bill Cosby case. Tawana Brawley was another one that just fucking made up a whole bunch of shit. Why would you make up a rape allegation? For monetary gains because you regret sex next day, which is in some places considered rape. And if you have these fucking pink-haired disasters coming at you, these feminists, they'll tell you, oh, if you regret rape, or if you regret sex the next day, you should definitely be considered rape. Absolutely. You have people like that out there. And, you know, these people will make up these rape allegations for monetary gain because they regret sex, um, because they want notoriety, because they want fame. Yes, it's actually okay to have fame for being unfaithful or raping people or whatever. 
It's, it's, people will go do anything for fame. Look at some of the YouTube challenges. Hi, this is the cinnamon challenge. Hi, this is the ice bucket challenge. Hi, this is uh shoot yourself in the forehead challenge, whatever. Whatever the fuck the flavor of the day is. People are insane. So people make up rape allegations. Now I'm not saying that everybody makes up rape allegations. That's absurd. But that's the first thing when you try to argue them, argue this, that people come back with, sir, you're demanding evidence for a claim that you made? Sir, so what you're saying, you, you support rapists? Right, that's exactly what I'm saying. The very foundation of this country, due process, the constitutional foundation of the law in this country, which separated us from other countries, the innocent until proven guilty, due process, the constitution, the absolute tiniest beginnings of this country, means that I support rapists. Right. No, you're not going to put that one over on me so easily. When I talk to my friends who have, let's just say, varying political differences, they'll say, so you support rapists. No, I actually support the law. The law being that if you're going to make an accusation, the person that you're accusing has the right to face you. Um, you need something like evidence. You need to um, even have evidence to get an indictment. You need those sorts of things. But... All they do nowadays is the first sign of somebody crying rape, he did it. And people will say, so you support rapists? Do you know that that means that girls are going to be scared to sleep with anybody again? Their sex life is going to be ruined. It's going to be terrible. Do you ever think about that, boo? How do you think it is if you are um, being accused of being a rapist? You don't have to worry about getting intimate in bed with somebody or the inability to do that or the inability to get your jollies off in bed with somebody. You don't have to worry about that. Like the a woman that has been raped uh, has... And I'm not playing down, I'm not downplaying actual rape, but just so we understand everything clear. That's at this seven minute, two second mark. I said, it. I'm not downplaying rape, actual rape. I think they should just be killed. Actual rape should just be killed. Save this, save people a lot of money. I, I'm, I have uh, no problem with the death penalty in certain cases with certain stipulations on proof and stuff like that. But we're not going there. I don't have any sort of problem with that. I, I, you know, rapist, absolutely. It's fine with me if they just get taken off the face of this earth. But let's have some evidence before we um, just throw everybody under the bus. Um, the bare minimum of, of evidence. Uh, what, what I was saying about having lives get, lives get ruined. See, I'm going off on all sorts of tangents. It's like the good old days. Um, the, um, oh, my God, I just forgot what I was saying again. Hold, oh, hold on. Hold on. It'll come to me. My, my, my mind is being raped at the moment. Hold on a second. Um... Lives being ruined. Lives being ruined. So, woman, yes, she won't be able to. Uh, I, I imagine that, uh, that a woman a, that has been raped, and by the way, men get raped too, uh, will not be able to um, have sex the same way for the rest of her life. Yes, it is a life ruining experience. But how do you think it is being accused of being a rapist? You're fucked. People come out of the woodwork to show that they hate rapists. You even hear jokes about it in pr from prisons. Oh, yes. Tell tell them that he's a, a kid diddler in rapist in, in, in rapist in prison and see how long he lasts. People are not generally fond of rapists. And if you're even accused, you're guilty. Right off the bat, you're guilty. Tell me somebody that has been accused of rape even though no evidence came out for it, that got their life back because no evidence came out for it. No, you are fucked. So don't, don't, don't claim the sob story about, oh my God, are you thinking about the woman that might have her life ruined? What about the guy that you're fucking over? I have always thought that a woman that falsely cries rape, cries rape, and it didn't happen. Not just that there's not enough evidence, you know, it, there needs to be evidence, but not that there's just not quite enough for conviction. Somebody that just makes it up because they regret it or for whatever reason, because to get back at somebody, somebody maybe they took him out on a date and the guy didn't pay for the whole thing, which, by the way, the feminists would enjoy that. Uh, they get, get, get to pay their own way. You have it. You pay for your own meal, and for you fine heifers, it's going to be one hell of a fucking bill. So whenever that situation happens, whenever there's a false claim of rape. I strongly feel the person that cried it should face the exact, exact same punishment that a convicted rapist for that same situation would have. If you say that he took you behind the woodshed and fucked you right in the ass or whatever, and it turns out, oops, <laughs> it wasn't true, you should serve 
25 to life or whatever it is. And I also mean execution if, if we had the death penalty and he would have got it, because that's exactly what's going to happen to him. If you look at the statistics in these cases, men get so fucked over in the penal system, along with a whole bunch of other su stuff. Um, child support cases, um, work fatalities, uh, rates for like auto insurance like that. This whole, you know, we got to start making men suffer. Men get fucked if you actually look at the real world. If you don't just buy into the, you know, women have it bad if they could only, um, if they could only uh, have some of the benefits of being a man. No, in reality, men get totally fucked in all sorts of cases like that. If, if you could actually make it the same punishment, I think you'd open up a lot of eyes. And I think a lot of these f false rape allegations would go away. Speaking of which, people are like, well, we don't have real statistics on that because there's reported cases, there's not reported cases, there's cases that have been confirmed, this and that. The best I could find is about 5 and 10% of rapes are um, uh, false accusations. And people say, well, that's like one in a million. First of all, I don't believe that number, but let's just say that I did, and let's say it's 5%. And there's a lot of rapes every year. I, I some numbers are like something like a hundred thousand or something like that. Something absurd. Five percent. That's five thousand people. That's not one in a million. That's five thousand in a hundred thousand. That's a shit fuck ton. That's a lot of fucking people that you just crumpled up and threw in the crapper because that's five percent that they claim are false rape allegations. That's not good. That's really really bad. Having this idea that a rape culture in colleges is just some place that everybody can get away with rape, and yes, has, has happened before in some campuses, yes, you want a rape culture, I don't know, maybe look at a country where they cut off uh, women's genitalia, which to be fair, this country also cuts off genitalia too and just uses religion as a cover for that, and I totally am against that. Yeah, mutilating infant genitalia is a bit of on my no list, but we'll, we'll go over that and don't even claim that, oh, it's got all these health benefits. No. Um, th there are countries where the rape culture exists, but it's it's not here. But to claim that, oh, yes, well, with college is just an all-you-can-eat buffet. Uh, but again, with the feminists, I feel like Al Bundy with all these fat jokes, but again, with the feminists, you might think that some colleges are an all-you-can-eat buffet. Um, of, of women out there raping, they're just being raped left and right, and, you know, you go to the college admission board, and you sign on the dotted line, and they're like, what, I can't hear you? Can you speak through this little hole in the glass? Blah, 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 blah. Uh, and then you're raped right through the door, uh, right, right, right through the hole in the window. That's, that's not true. And... I don't think we should stand for this um, this idea that a simple accusation should ruin people's lives. So Betsy DeVos had this fucking idea. Maybe we should require a little proof. Fuck it out. Just don't show heavens to Betsy. Get it? Betsy DeVos, heavens to Betsy. Um, they had this idea. Maybe we should require a little proof. And the fucking outrage was there. This is where I'd like to have one of those little flashbulb things from, uh, what is it, Back to the Future, Will Smith, all this, I've been West Philadelphia, born and raised, on the playground where I spent most of my days, chilling out, maxing, relaxing, or cooling, or shooting some people outside, it's going, a couple guys who are doing good, started making trouble in my neighborhood, I got in one little fight, my mom got scared, moving with your auntie and uncle in Bel Air, I was forgetting when he came to the line, spent fresh and out Dyson Mayor, if anything, I'd say this guy, but I thought, I forget to go home, smell like Will Smith, and make people forget things. Clearly, I've had that a few times in this video. But, no, have a little flashbulb. People forget things. Let's say you didn't know what party was on. And I just came up to you with an idea. You didn't know Democrat, didn't know Repub Republican, left, right, whatever. I said, now, if somebody was going to ruin your life with something that they said, do you think maybe they should be required to prove that you did the thing that you did? Do you think there would really be this much outrage? Oh, my God! How are you, sir? How dare you? No, this is this is only because of Trump. Just like fucking the, the emperor's quote. You know, we're not gonna make America great again. America was never, never that great. America was honestly never that great. Even his own fucking whack job Democrats in his little podium place were outright was fucking blown away by that statement. Could you imagine if Trump said, you know what, America's really never been that great. In any of the lists that rank, like, the state's best to the worst, New York's always at the bottom. And this fucking emperor that we have here, princess, is saying, well, America was never that great. I'll tell you what, this state was never that great. And, you know, who is the leader of this state? Ding! Oh, and speaking of Cuomo, and speaking of other corrupt politicians like Nixon, they're having a debate, or this thing's going around, that... Air conditioning is sexist. I swear to you, they're having a debate that air conditioning is sexist. Yes, because men generally prefer it a little bit colder. Women generally prefer it a little bit hotter. 
I generally prefer these two to shut the fuck up and fight to the death. But as such, offices are usually kept a little bit colder. Not the office that I work in. Fucking no fucking way. But offices are generally kept a little bit colder. Therefore, they're supporting the men. And air conditioning is sexist. That sounds like a shitty joke that you drop the mic and then walk away from. But these, that's what these fucking morons are arguing about. And the scary point is, you remember Nixon. You remember, remember Nixon. They keep his head in a little jar in Futurama. No, and a different Nixon. But, you know, Nixon and Cuomo are going to be your two choices for New York. This state is in the shitter. Going down the fucking drain in the turlet. Down the fucking sewer hole. Out the pipe into the main sewage thing, into the water treatment plan, plant, and the water treatment plant's like, nah, man, I, I ain't touching it. And we're arguing about air conditioning. And, and the two people, of which one of them is going to be deciding the fate of this, this, this state, are talking about air conditioning. One of them just said America's never really been that great. The other one was an actress on Sex in the City. Who gives a fuck if she was an actress on Sex in the City? So was a whore, or, or uh, the fucking uh, horse face, uh, Sarah Jessica Parker. Who cares? So was Donald Trump. What the fuck does that have to do with anything? People come up with these ridiculous qualifications that mean X, Y, and Z after the fact. It's like, you know, Betsy DeVos, she's the um, education secretary. She's only got a BS. She's only got a BS, a Bachelor of Science. Speaking of BS, who gives a fuck? The fuck college system in this, uh, this country is a fucking disaster and why are the f what the fuck does that matter nikola tesla did not have a bs and he fucking invents the he invented the fucking light bulbs you're using and the system of electricity to get into your fucking house and don't please do the wikipedia thing well you know actually edison invented a light bulb and uh, one was dc one was i don't give a fuck it was a point i was making these are the fucking two people that are going to be running this uh, that are the choices you're arguing about the temperature in the office. You're talking about Betsy DeVos, again, which doesn't fucking have anything to do with her or the actual statement. It's just, she'd be one of them people that Trump put, put in there. I don't like them people. Look at my pink hat. <laughs> We're talking about air conditioning, qualifications, Sarah Jessica Parker, horses. What the fuck? Oh, my God. Okay, so I'm glad I got that off my chest. I, I I think I was driving home and I heard heard it on the uh, heard no I it was a Facebook post that finally made me do this one. I'm like, wait a minute, Re requiring a little bit of proof for a rape is a bad thing. And they actually defended it. They actually fucking stood by it. I thought it was going to be like, you call them out and say, come on, you're really not going to say, no, 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 you, you stand by, you, if you support this, you support rapists. Okay. So, yeah, I'm glad I got that out of, out of my chest. I've uh, got about 39 seconds left, and the round's going to end, and I still haven't found the other half of this, so. Oh my god, it's empty. But seriously... I gotta go. Take it easy, guys.